digital inclusion is increasingly important as the world recovers from the pandemic and adapts to this new world. And while there has been some remarkable new opportunities and innovations arising from this rapid digital transformation, 47% of the world's population remains unconnected from the rest of the world. Technology can generate a digital divide and this disparity must be addressed so that individuals can participate in the future of work but also have access to critical digital educational tools and support the economic recovery. I'm Ronald van Loon and I had the pleasure to view Ken Liu's keynote speech, Innovation Lighting Up the Future, from the Mobile World Congress in Shanghai in China. Businesses must help a future of digital inclusion where everyone can access the technological necessary tools to help to lead impactful lives, but also gain skills necessary to succeed. So cloud technology is one of the driving factors of digital transformation, as enterprises adopted cloud in 2020 to meet the demand of remote work, but also to expand their digital capabilities. And network traffic is at its all-time high, up to 50% more than the year before. And peak hours, they don't exist anymore, as people are constantly online. And 20% more wireless home broadband connections have been added to this year as well. So if we look to this, businesses, they are working hard to create better virtual experiences. So people maximize their skill and maximize their time as they interact with this new digital environment. So just take a look at this Huawei technology called um, Cyberverse, which is built upon 5G networks, 5G devices, but also on AR capabilities. And just by using a smartphone camera, digital objects like a dinosaur or an elephant and a giraffe, they can be digitally placed into Ken Hu's environment. And this example just scratches the surface, demonstrating how technology can be used to reimagine how people can digitally interact. Or in manufacturing, Huawei phones are being manufactured in smart workshops where 5G connected devices can transmit data in real time. So smart factories that can help improve products and solutions across different industries, which bring new technologies to more people and create new digital transformation opportunities for businesses. But also, for example, in Ghana, Rural network infrastructure projects. They're being used to bring mobile access to unconnected communities for the first time by connecting Huawei Rural Star solar powered base stations that give 2G and 3G connectivity, but also 4G broadband. Or look in healthcare 5G is being used to implement ultrasound equipment from a distance so that doctors can work remotely in real time and extend diagnostic and healthcare resources to more communities and to more populations. So worldwide internet usage has increased by 70%. And people, they are depending on connectivity to learn, to work and to access healthcare, but also, of course, to socialize. And this advantage is a great enabler. And new solutions and strategies they are really needed to help to extend digital opportunities to millions of people across the world who don't have the same type of privileges. So many companies without digital technologies, they are going bankrupt. Um, healthcare distribution is unbalanced and there's a lack of educational opportunities for children because many households don't have the internet. So organizations must commit to infuse equity and inclusion into their business goals and into their values. And this will set up the tone to build more diverse impacts to performance management that advance technological developments to all parts of the globe. So businesses, they must also share the responsibility of digital inclusion and democratize technological opportunities to erase the digital divide.